hope you're enjoying the weekend. I thought I'd hop on here because it's been a while and since I have uh, shown people around our place. My husband and I sold our house in the city. We are total city folk. We sold so, sold our house uh, in April of 2017. Um, in the middle of the city, uh, we walked everywhere. We were out all the time and we sold and we bought our dream home, which is 10 acres in the country. Um, we have no idea what we're doing, okay? We are not farmers. We don't come a far from a farming background. Uh, but when we did live in the city, we lived in like our little postage stamp lot, right? We had garden beds, like raised garden beds where we grow veg where we grew veggies. We had self-watering uh, plant containers on every deck of our house. We had uh, herbs that we were growing. We had tomatoes, zucchinis, peppers, uh, beans, peas. Like we, we grew everything on our deck, right? In our little planters. But I thought I'd show you today um, trading that for in the city. You can still do that all on your deck and in your front yard in the city and grow fruits and veggies. But we moved out to the farm and, uh, and like I said, we didn't know what we were doing. We have bought books. We've learned from books. We've learned from Google. We've learned from YouTube. We have no idea. Hey, Chels, she knows way more about farming than we do. But I thought that I'd show you what we've been up to. So Izzy and I, um, over the past like couple of weeks, we're teaching her about how to grow a garden. So we germinated seeds. Something I had to learn about that you put seeds on wet paper towel, uh, fold it over and put them in, in plastic bags and let them sit in the sun for a couple of days. And it shows you what seeds are going to pop and what seeds are gonna grow. Cause not all seeds will grow. Some are duds, some maybe have been expired and you don't know. So um, we have germinated seeds and then we took those seeds and we planted them in uh, little egg cartons and little smaller containers. So we've got um, broccoli sprouts. We've got tomatoes that are growing. Uh, we have different types of lettuce. Our lettuce is not doing very well, by the way. Um, radishes. Uh, these are, I think this is spinach. Um, those are more radishes, different types of lettuce, cucumber, uh, butternut squash, um, uh, I think that this is a pepper plant. These two are pepper plants, more lettuce. So we've been growing them that way, just kind of on the windowsill because it hasn't been warm enough to do it outside yet. But we're actually starting to uh, utilize our outside space now because the weather's getting better. So I'm gonna take you outside and show you uh, what we've been doing. Um, so over the last couple of years, we've planted like pots around the house, around the yard that like for strawberries. So those will grow into strawberry plants. And then we off the back patio, we have like our kitchen is right here. So we come out the back and then we've got uh, some thyme, some uh, rosemary over in those pots over there. Uh, there's sage and what else do we have? I see rhubarb right now that we've planted right there. Now, if you look up on the hill, so this is, here, let me tap it so that it's not so bright. I wonder if I can do that. If you guys can see that, can you see that or is it way too bright? Uh, let's try and go this way. But basically all of this behind me that's cleared, like all of this land, it's too bright right now. I'm gonna see if I can flip it so that you can see. There we go. So all of this used to be treed. All of this area up here behind our house used to be treed and Ryan um, cleared it all. We sold the lumber that was all up there. Uh, he picked rocks for days, for days and days and days. Um, and then these are all these lines. There's five, and we only have about half of it planted. There's a bunch over here too, but we only have about half of it planted. And these are lines of apple trees. Uh, they're cider apple trees and there are 50 different varieties because you actually, when you make cider, you do a blend of apples. Um, we, I'll show you our other garden patch as well uh, where we have some matured apple trees. Like we've got, I think four or five down there and we get between 250, depending on a bumper crop year, we get between 250 and 400 pounds of apples from those four trees. Like it's absolutely insane. Um, so I'll take you down there. Uh, oh, over here, I'll show you. So like over here beside the shed, this tree is a hazelnut tree. So we have hazelnuts there. Um, if you see all the bird house, I don't, can you see all the bird? Yeah, you can, hold on. All the bird houses. Um, Ryan for, uh, 
for Christmas, all of our birdhouses has had the centers um, eaten out by squirrels because they get in there to get that bird eggs. So he built me all of these new birdhouses so that we could have, it's so beautiful in the morning, you guys, like the, the sound of them is just gorgeous. Um, it's really nice to wake up to the birds chirping in the trees, that's for sure. Um, live from nd wow so this is where we keep all of our firewood we're almost out of it we have a wood stove we're wood burning stove in the basement we're almost out of it and there's larry hey larry come here bud hey buddy hi boy you're such a good boy this is larry if you haven't met larry he's a mini aussie and he runs the yard right larry sure it does okay so i'm going to take you down here and show you um this is our little garden patch that was here when we got here so we've we've done all the work well we've i've not done anything my husband's done everything uh for the apples up there while i work online he does that pretty amazing um so i'll show you i'll walk in here hold on just a sec and i'll spin this around so these apple trees are the ones that have like we've gotten like four hundred yeah like 400 pounds of, and and made like 200 liters of cider or something hey Rye, how many liters of cider Pardon me? how many liters of cider did we make with 400 pounds of apples uh, came out to about 100. 100 liters of cider and then so these garden beds we cover them again guys like we don't we googled everything like we are city folk okay so these like ryan has done such an incredible job all of these have so you can cover them if you want or we can put mesh over them if the birds or bunnies get to become an issue but all of these will uncover really soon and start putting plants in because it's starting to get warm enough this one here too but we grow um we grow zucchini cucumber tomato uh peppers We've grown broccoli, Brussels sprouts, celery, um, all of your herbs, potatoes. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Gosh, so many different things. We're growing carrots this year, uh, which you mix like sand and soil in. And then these are like, we've had these pots forever, these self-watering containers at Ryan. Hmm, I wonder what we grow in there. Use your imagination. But we, uh, we've used these all over the place and you can move them, um, but it's sweet because there's a water reserve underneath here. So it, it, there's, if this fills up with water and then it's dirt and then you actually fill the water right here. So you only have to water these like once a week. You don't really have to pay much attention to it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then the other thing that I love, we only got, okay, so we only got one peach last year, but this is our peach tree and it's got quite a few blossoms on it this year. So we're hopeful, but the peach was amazing. Like I was really surprised that we could grow peaches. We just kind of, and then this is Anjou pear. This one's an Anjou pear. So this one's kind of like, we've got a few trees in here. Our cherry tree didn't make it. Well, better luck next time. You can't win them all. Um, that's what you learn with gardening, is that you cannot win them all. And then I'll show you a couple of weeks ago when this whole quarantine thing happened. When we moved in, Ryan bought uh, a greenhouse and had it delivered. And then it sat in our garage for two years. So, um, because it was, it's like a big undertaking, you guys. Like 62 pages of instructions like ikea instructions so ryan and i <laughs> spent a few afternoons out in the sun doing it like three it took us three days we called it marriage counseling <laughs> it was great we worked we totally worked together we he did all the hard stuff and i just read the instructions and we totally worked as a team but it's eight by eight so like here hold on i'll flip it so it's eight by eight and then ryan was awesome enough to build i don't even know if it's unlocked i think it is yeah. So he built these shelves that like still allow, we have some lettuce growing in here right now, but like I said, all of the plants that are up there are, uh, are going to go into our, um, are going to go into this today. We're going to bring all those plants that are in the house today down here and then grow new ones. But he did these awesome shelves in here that let the light through. So you can still put stuff on the bottom shelf and then it automatically opens when it gets too warm in here and we've got vents that are going on. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll go let the chickens out. So we also took on baby chicks when we moved out here. We need to get some more chickens. So if you know anyone that's selling chickens, uh, we need more laying hens. But we um, decided that we were going to take on baby chicks. And I think we got like 20 of them. And you need, obviously you need hens to lay eggs. And we had like more than half were roosters. So that was an interesting situation. 
and uh, roosters get mean. They're beautiful, by the way. The, the roosters are way more beautiful than the hens. Um, but we had to, we, again, my husband, got rid of some of them and we made soup. There you go. So, and bone broth, which is what we actually did. So initially we had our chickens out, like I'll show you the little enclosed area, but we had to put a big chicken run in that's covered because we had hawks that were taking out our chickens. So like hawks would like come in and like, there goes Gracie. That's our other dog. Hey Gracie, come here girl. Come here sweetie. Oh my girl, how are you? Yeah, are you having a good day? She's chasing cars, chasing whatever she can find, bicycles. So anyways, so hawks will take them out. Uh, we almost had a hawk take one out oh, a couple of weeks ago. So I'll show you, Ryan made this. It's like such an incredible, he, again, Google, YouTube, like you guys can figure it out. It's total city folk. So this is the chicken house, right? Is that what you call it? I don't know, hen house? Yeah, there we go. And so he's dug this in so that we, because we do have um, weasels and uh, pine martens that'll dig in and kill them all. So he's dug in that and we've got two doors. Hi ladies. We've got five right now. I'll let them out for you guys. Come on guys. Hi ladies. Ryan calls them his ladies. Come on. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Come on. It's okay. You can come. Come on guys. And then we let them go out into the yard. So we used to have a lot more. Now we just, uh, we only have five. Because that's what happens when you live on the country, out in the country. Um, and then at the back, I'm going to show you this. So he's not only, he's got a self-feeding. So we fill up the feed and only have to do that once a week. He also has self-watering. So this you fill up with water and it feeds them underneath. And so you only have to do that once a week. So super low maintenance. And then these are the laying boxes. Oh yeah, hi Chicky. Right, so these are the... There's an egg there. Do you have an egg there? Not yet, but there's an egg in there. I'm sorry. I don't want to bug you. Okay. We're going to move because I don't want to bug her. She's a little bit upset with me because she was going to lay an egg. <laughs> and they make that sound <laughs> when they're upset or when they're laying an egg, actually. And actually, they only really lay consistently for about a year and a half. And then they don't lay as many. So out of these five chickens we get about three eggs a day and then this is our sheep shed we don't have sheep um we borrow our neighbors sometimes to fertilize and cut the grass but i'm going to tell you something it's really nice to have a neighbor that you look out on and you see their sheep and their horses and their ducks and their animals and you don't have to take care of them i feel like it's winning and then we have our little fire pit here which is quite beautiful in the evening little chickies are out for a play so we, they like being in the yard Gracie I don't know what you're gonna do she's probably looking for their food are you looking for their food you monkey I know baby okay so we'll go up here and the last thing that I want to show you is our little bee house um, because my husband uh, we wanted to support um, the bee culture here, obviously, if we're going to have a bunch of apple trees and, bl and blossoms and we need to pollinate, uh, because you need to pollinate for them to stay there, Gracie, you, you need to pollinate for them to bear fruit. Um, here, there's one of the, uh, can you see it? Yeah. Ryan made me those, a bunch of those. So then we got one of these little bee hotels. If you want to know where to get these, it's pretty cool, right? Um, send me a message and I will tell you. Uh, I'll send you the name or the email of the people. Hey, Rye. Hi. But I'll show you. He's scared that I'm going to fall over, which I might. So they look like this. You put them up. And then they come with these little containers. Look in there. Those are the bees. Ooh. Scared me. Sorry. One just came out of the house. I told you I was a city girl. So the bees are there in little baby cocoons. And then when they hatch, because it gets warm, they find their homes there and they go lay eggs in there, and then you multiply your bees. 
like over and over and over again. So you get more and more bees every year. Um, so yeah, that's our what we're, what we've been up to so far on our little farm. Hey babe. Yep. This is the guy that's behind it all. Hello. He's doing all the work and I just get to show off his handiwork because he's amazing. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that is our little, our little place on the farm. And I thought I'd share that with you today. Step-by-step -step process. It's kind of cool to document this stuff, right? Like be able to go back and look in a couple of years what we have. We'll put our pool out soon and it's going to be amazing. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about urban farming, uh, how you can produce veggies and stuff uh, in your yard, even in the city, right? Like we did, we did a lot of veggies in the city. Uh, shoot me a message and I'm happy to recommend a couple of books that we used or um, how we made our, the, or how Ryan made the self-watering containers. Like I'm more than happy to do that because with those, with the self-watering containers, a timer on your watering system and self water like self watering self feeding chicken coop you can kind of get away for a few days right and like not have to be at the farm all the time that was our biggest concern taking all of the stuff on is like do we have to be home all the time because we love to travel not that that's an issue right now but um it's really allowed us a lot more freedom and the other cool thing about living in in this kind of rural area is that your neighbors have your back I know that life is shifting a little bit and I feel that that's going to be more common, but like we barely knew our neighbors in the city and we lived there for 10 years here. Everybody checks in on everybody. If you go away for a couple of days, your neighbor's going to watch your yard. Like everyone is amazing and we just take care of each other. And that's part of the reason that I wanted to move to the country. Being a small town girl at heart, this is where I wanted to raise my daughter. And I'm pretty grateful that, you know, us building gardens together and having chickens, like she really does appreciate a lot more uh, than... She just appreciates like life a little bit more, right? Like she appreciates food and how hard it is to come by and the work that goes behind it. It's a really good thing for kids to learn. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye.